You might be surprised to find oil on the spark plugs when it's time for your regular tune-up. This contamination frequently indicates a mechanical issue, but how do you know what's wrong? In this video, we discuss the top 7 causes of oil on spark plugs. We also show you how to resolve this problem. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Bad or clogged PCV valve. All modern automobiles have a positive crankcase ventilation system. Its goal is to reduce emissions while keeping the environment as clean as possible. The PCV system not only vents engine crankcase vapors, but it also aids in rerouting them so that they can be reburned in the engine. If the PCV valve becomes clogged or fails, the system may begin siphoning oil. This issue causes an increase in vapors and can clog the spark plugs with oil. Leaking valve cover gasket. Your problem may be related to a leaking valve cover gasket if oil has gotten into the wells or is on the spark plug threads. The valve cover gasket is in charge of maintaining the engine's oil seal. But as time passes, the gasket ages and wears out, becoming more prone to leaks. Usually, a leaking valve cover gasket or a clogged PCV valve is the cause of oil getting on the spark plugs. Bad turbocharger. The turbocharger is an excellent addition to any vehicle, providing extra power for a thrilling ride. When there is oil on the spark plugs, a failing turbocharger is a common cause. The turbine shaft seals are designed to withstand a lot of abuse, but they are not indestructible. As the oil lubricating the shaft degrades due to heat, it can enter the intake and combustion chamber. It then ends up on the spark plugs. A blown turbocharger requires a replacement, which can be costly. Bad piston rings. The piston rings in the cylinder are in charge of maintaining compression and preventing oil leakage into the combustion chamber. Once more, these rings are intended to last the entire engine's lifespan, but that doesn't always happen. A worn out or damaged piston ring will let oil pass through the seal. The oil will clog the spark plugs as it enters the combustion chamber. Worn intake valve seals. The cylinder heads contain the intake valves. These valves' functions include allowing air into the engine while assisting with exhaust gas egress. There is a stem inside each valve that goes into the cylinder head. Oil cannot enter the combustion chamber through the guides due to the valve seals. Oil can enter the system and foul the plugs if the seals or guides begin to wear. Especially when you first start the engine, the engine will also begin to use more oil, and you might notice smoke coming from the exhaust. Bad pistons. Another possibility is that the pistons are the issue. Oil travels from the crankcase to the combustion chamber with the damaged piston when the piston weakens or cracks. As soon as oil starts to clog the plug, you are faced with some serious issues. If the car is worth investing any money in, you will need to have an expensive engine repair done. Clogged crankcase ventilation. Crankcase ventilation is intended to alleviate pressure in the crankcase caused by blow by gases. This ventilation system also reroutes the gases back to the intake manifold, where they can be used as fuel by the engine. However, oil leaks can occur if the pressures in the crankcase ventilation become too high. Clogged crankcase ventilation causes the same symptoms as a faulty PCV valve. In many cases, the pressures rise as a result of a clog. You may also notice a decrease in engine performance and a higher idle than usual. How to fix? Check if it's leaking inside the cylinder or from above. Determine the source of the oil as your very first step. You can't just swap out the spark plugs and wait for the issue to go away. To prevent another set of plugs from becoming fouled, you must fix the problem. Additionally, if you keep running your engine with the oil leak, bigger problems will arise. Depending on the issue, ignoring this fix could result in permanent engine damage. Clean crankcase ventilation hoses and PCV valve. Follow these instructions to clean the crankcase ventilation system. Take the oil filler cap first. If it has ventilation holes, clean the parts by dipping them in parts cleaner and shaking them off before reinstalling. If there are no holes in the cap, make sure the rubber ring around it is securely fastened. Locate the ventilation valve for the PCV. Depending on how old your car is, it should be at the end of a hose connecting the crankcase to either the inlet manifold or the carburetor. The valve assembly must be removed. Use an old paintbrush dipped in solvent to remove it. Take the hoses off, then check for obstructions. To clean out the hoses, use a piece of cloth and a stiff wire. To make sure there are no leaks in the air, reassemble everything. Now is a good time to replace anything that you found to be defective while cleaning. Leak down test. Although mechanics frequently perform leak down tests, if you have experience you can also do it. Here are some fundamental steps to think about. Assemble your tools. An air compressor, sockets, a ratchet, an extension, a spark plug socket, and a breaker bar are required along with the leak down tester. Remove the problematic spark plug with the engine off. All of the spark plugs must be taken out if you want to perform a leak down on every cylinder. Find the top dead center. With the appropriate adapter, insert the tester into the spark plug hole or holes. Connect the tester to your compressed air supply. To check for leakage, read the results. You can fix the leak as soon as you identify its source. Contact a professional. 
By no means are these steps easy. Even trained mechanics struggle to identify the source of oil on spark plugs. It might take some time for the diagnosis. Contact a professional if you are unsure of your actions. It's the only way to guarantee that there won't be any additional harm. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.